everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya. As I just said, I think in the last episode, I'm really loving this game, so uh, let's go fishing. <laughs> I think. I think. Yes? No? He just said something that we can fish anything out of here. Well, I'm fine. Let's talk to her. Molly. I wish I could see what Sky City is like. I heard that everyone is carefree there. Oh, hello, hot stuff. You want to come to be carefree with me? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I want to go fishing. Hmm. Nothing of interest up ahead. No need to go any further. Okay, too bad. Well, dude, how can I go fishing here then, huh? I want to fish stuff out of here. Hmm. Well, then I guess I can't. Well, let's go back into the repair. Oh, shop closed. Okay. You're closed this early? That old man is such a slacker. I can't think of anyone other than Morax who would know about that implant device. I think it's time to meet Royd at the bar now, anyway. Okay, so where is the bar? Didn't he, uh, take a taxi to the bar Royd mentioned? Okay, wait, what's new? Biopets technology banned. The first generation of biopets realized humanity's fantasy to become the divine creator. At one point, biopets were pro uh, pr produced <laughs> that could receive implanted and customized human memories. Oh, okay. People kept highly intelligent pets such as Cat Companion and Feather Angel, which were almost human in their cognitive abilities. Eventually, the government became involved, announcing a wave of regulation across the industry. Now, only biopets that could be easily distinguished from real animals could be produced, and any biopet with human levels of intelligence was strictly illegal. At the same time, a treaty was signed globally to control the spread of artificial biological creature technology. Because of these policies, the production of smart biopets gradually stopped and the market died out. Nevertheless, there are still people carrying out illegal transactions through the black market, and this has become a very important channel for less developed countries to take a peek at advanced technology. The first generation smart biopets have become rare and precious commodities because of their connection to high-end biotechnology. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, I have, it's really hot, in, uh, it's not really hot, but it's really warm in here because my computer is, uh, you know, the GPU's running at, at high, uh, high temperatures, so my room is really warm, but for some reason my hands are freezing. Oh, that was it, okay, um... All right. Oh, there's the taxi. I was just gonna ask, where do I find the taxi stab? Huh, should I take a taxi to the bar? I mean, I'd like to walk there if I could. Wander around for a bit more, okay. I'm not ready to leave just yet. Wait, let me just... Talk to him again. Maybe I should relocate my shop. Okay, well, and I can't go into my apartment. Well, okay, never mind. Let's take the taxi to the bar. <clears throat> Alright, it's time to head to the bar. I was getting thirsty anyway. Yeah, I also got some fresh coffee. Oh! Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a short break to drink my coffee now while it's hot. Nope. That hallucination, hallucination just now. If that really was the last memory of the steward, then he managed to break through the confines of the three principles. The last time this happened, a revolution broke out and my body was left in this state. Oh, right. Now, now we're back to the robot in Mrs. Perry's apartment. Okay, I was just wondering, what steward? It's too many, too much cats. Wait just a second, I need to... Ah. Oh, 
coffee. Just the best there is. <laughs> Next to water. What concerns me more is that strange implant device. I haven't had a hallucination since the Apocalypse Garden incident. I thought I'd rid myself of that nightmare for good. I never imagined it would emerge once again. The invasive voices and frantic memories drove me insane, and I was completely unable to escape from it. I never want to experience that lack of control again. Perhaps this implant device is an opportunity for me to rid myself of this disease forever. I wonder whether Royd was able to get the photo of the device. Darn it. I could really do with some booze now. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, fantasy jellyfish bar Thursday night. Oh, isn't this cute? <laughs> Alright, can I play that? Mad Magic. Um, what do I do? Oh, uh... Okay, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, wait, let me... Oh boy, oh boy! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was close. Okay, all you, oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, well. I got nine, never mind. How do I get back out of here? There. Just, just press the space bar and then it started flying up there. <laughs> Hit Route 66 again. <laughs> what in the dream, okay. Oh, that's him. <laughs> I didn't recognize him without the uniform. There you are. What took you so long? Maybe you shouldn't choose a place so far away next time. What, the fantasy jellyfish? Crazy name, great atmosphere. It's far for sure, but it's also a good place for a private chat. Today's case is likely to be suppressed by the new special mission squad. I'm still working on getting that photo you wanted. In the meantime, why don't you tell me what's so important about that robot? Well... Do you still remember how my body began acting weird since the incident at A003 Apocalypse Garden? The gift my old partner Abel left me. Of course, in order to save you, Abel chose to sacrifice himself. With that level of mechanical transplantation, obviously there would be some serious complications. It was around that time when doctors identified mechanical augmentation as the cause of the physical rejection epidem epidemic. And then you suddenly disappeared, so we all assumed back then my brain would automatically receive the thoughts and memories of the robots around me. Oh boy, that must have been noisy. <laughs> Every day was like living in purgatory to me, but after a while, I slowly recovered. Now, I just hesitated when reading before because I thought, why is the music so loud again? What happened then? Most of my memories from that time are very vague. Illusion and reality intertwined in my mind. But that hasn't happened for years. When I touched the core of that robot today, I had a similar reaction, a visual hallucination. This time I need to fix it once and for all. My intuition tells me that the problem lies within the device implanted on the robot's brain. I need to dig deeper. I see. I'll get that photo as soon as I can. You need to be careful here. There's more to this than meets the eye. Since we're here, let's have some fun. I brought an old friend who you'll be happy to see. Who is important enough to be introduced by you in person? Xun. Hey there, Roy. What kind of a name is Xun? Rex? 
I didn't expect to see you here. Or to see you here, son. Ha ha ha! Surprise! I would never have guessed you'd bring him here. Son, what are you doing here? I heard you moved away a long time ago. Hey, I can still hang out down here, can I? I do own the place. I don't come often though. I'm pretty busy most of the time. But I can still occasionally make time for an old friend. Haha, <laughs> son introduced me to this bar when I bumped into him on a recent assignment. I have to wait a little more, otherwise my 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 reading will stumble along if the sentence isn't written out yet. And what can I say? It started to grow on me. We've lost touch ever since you left the team. I heard you went to Sky City. Were it not for my bloody family, I would have joined the specials. I was one of the best, remember? Stop bragging about yourself. Everyone knows you bribed the training officer. <laughs> so how about you, Rex? Long time no see. Ah, uh, let's listen to Sun's story. After the basic framework of Sky City was finished, my family moved... Jeez, the music is so loud. After the basic framework of Sky City was finished, my family moved everything up there. I've been helping with my family business since I left the team. It's a boring story. I heard that there are no robots in Sky City. Hey, hey that's not true. The aim was to create a harmonious society in which humans and robots could get along. Nevertheless, <clears throat> the robot population is far from what was planned. However, Augusto has managed to get quite a lot of robots into Sky City. Augusto? I see him on TV often, but I wouldn't have guessed he would run for office. Well, this election has become special thanks to Augusto's participation. A lot of things have been going on. It sounds pretty stressful. No wonder you look exhausted. Ha! A lot of trouble indeed. Let's not talk about that today. You're right, let's talk about something fun. Uh, after all this time. The three laugh about old times and catch up on the years in between. Before they realize it, a couple of hours have passed. Ugh, I'm drinking too quickly. I need to go to the bathroom. You look like you're in trouble. You better hurry. Oh boy. Oh my god, I am loving this. I'm loving this how the how the um picture is is a little wobbly and and becoming blurry and everything. Wait, doesn't it say staff something? Oh my god, how big is this bar? Oh, we can talk to him. Well, let's go to the bathroom first. I guess it's it's probably here, but let's see. Okay, this is the staff area of the bar. Why would I serve myself when the waiter is doing such a good job already? Okay, wait. Anything there? No. What's with, uh, her? Brayden. Excuse me, sir. My name is Brayden, and I couldn't help eavesdropping just now. What? He listened to me pee, or what? <laughs> Could I have a moment of your time? Talk to him. Yeah, sure. What is it? Thanks. I don't know what to do anymore. Actually, my friend... My friend has been missing for several days. I called the police, but because the call was automated and because I live in Underbridge District, I don't think anyone paid much attention to me. Underbridge District? That's gang territory. No wonder the police didn't want to get involved. You're that famous detective, right? I'm sure you can find her. I'll pay you... Hey, you know what? Let me give you my contact information first. 
Send me the send me the details of the missing person and I'll take a look. Okay, I'll message you right away. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. I haven't promised anything. All right. <clears throat> Wait, what, what happens if we talk again? Many thanks, detective. I'll send you the information later. Okay. I always assume that once we're done talking, the, uh, you know, the, the, the um, command thingy will disappear. So what's with her there? What are these bubbles coming out of her mouth and nose? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, now it's normal again. Wait, but why? How? I want to talk to him here. Mr. Know It All, okay. Well, well, if it isn't the famous detective, why are you here? Are you selling information again? Well, you know that the times are tough right now. Since you're here, have you got anything interesting for me? I've always got something interesting. It just might not be interesting to you. <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, I do have something related to that incident that happened 10 years ago. You might be interested in that. It isn't anything important, and I'm not even sure if it's true. Let's treat it like a rumor. What do you want in return? Let's play a game of cards. I'll tell you if you win. Play a game of cards with Mr. Know-it-all? Well, okay. All I need to do is beat you in a game of cards. You must really want to give me this. You must really want to give me this information. What game is it then? Oh, it's, um, uh, um, Blackjack? So is this 19 now, or just 10? Um... Well, let's... I won, all right. Uh, ooh, this is crap. I'll probably lose this one, huh? Yeah. Shit. How many do I have to win? Oh, three or five, okay. Uh, how many do I have to play should have been the correct question then. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. Shit. Yeah, well, I... yeah, let's continue. Oh no, it's gonna start again from the... Oh, this is... Oh, 16. Oh, fuck you. That's why I don't gamble or play... cards or... Because I suck at it. Oh. Of course. I got 26 points though now. <laughs> Doesn't that count? Uh, I mean, do I have to win all five rounds? That's what I understood, huh? Oh, it's set. Oh. Never mind about the but yeah, it uh, it counts the points so I don't have to. Now I got that after how many rounds? <laughs> Crap! Oh come on! Ah. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, fuck you! What if I cancel? Then you won't tell me the information. Alright, I got blackjack. Yay! And again, alright. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Oh, not like that. Oh, screw you. Crap. Yeah, no, I'll, I'm not taking any risks. Ooh, alright. Just one more. I need to win one. Oh, oh, wait, that was it, okay. Oh, thank god. The underground has some rather active robots lately. Has had some rather active robots lately. Rumor has it that they're looking for the key to how the revolutionists managed managed to bypass the source code ten years ago. Okay. Wait, can I? I need to turn down the music a bit. It's so loud. All right. Let me see again. Hmm, wanna try again? Play me a game of cards with no. I don't think he's gonna tell me any anymore. I mean he told me, he just told me. Oh good god. <laughs> okay, I'll just <clears throat> just a sec. The revel <laughs> great start. The Revolutionists' Riots Incident The agreement signed between the Prophet and the humans provided a chance for robots to live in peace, but the terms still resulted in robots living under relative oppression and isolation from humanity. From this situation, a robot organization named the Revolutionists was secretly, secretly established and remains active in many big cities including Koito? I was gonna say Kyoto, but um, no, I guess Koito? I don't know, is it a typo or is it a fictitious place? I mean, everything is fictitious so far, so I guess... Um, the most disturbing element of this new group is that, is that they can harm humans despite the three principles. The revolutionists used a great amount of violence in their attempts to protect, to protect their kind and numerous destructive incidents were recorded. The government was determined to deal with the conflict and a, nego and a negotiation conference was... Oh, I'm sorry. I think I should be calling it a night soon. Oh, from the way I'm reading, my brain has gone somewhere else. The government was determined to deal with the conflict, and a nego negotiation conference was held between representatives. I'm sorry, now I had to burp. Damn coffee. And a negotiation conference was held between representatives from both sides. However, the conference resulted in an armed conflict in the end. After this incident, the revolutionists became determined to have their say in their fight for more reasonable treatment towards robots in society. <clears throat> From then on, the revolutionists have become more and more arbitrary, often clashing with government armed forces. They launch terrorist attacks, inflicting mass casualties among civilians. In order to deal with the chaos caused by the revolutionists, the government sent experts to carry out further negotiation, while at the same time summoning the best police from all over the country in order to establish a new special mission squad. The special mission squad successfully stopped several revolutionist terrorist attacks and gradually unearthed the revolutionist stronghold. In the end, Team 2 of Special Mission Squad had broke through to the stronghold and disrupted the organization. The long time riots had finally ended. <sighs> okay, that was it. Wait a second. 
Why does it say go away? Oh, does it count like wait? Why does it say three three from twelve up there? Ah, now it says six from twelve. Because I was wondering, I mean, yeah, I know twelve in total, but okay, never mind, just uh whatever. Um okay. So now let's go back to our friends. What are you doing over there? Come have another drink. Okay, let's have another drink. Finish the night drinking. What if I press cancel? But then do I have to... I mean, I walked around before. There was nothing else I could do, was there? Except maybe play the game again. Let me, let me just check. Oh, see, there you go. Green Hair Mike. This place used to be a luxurious wine bar, and the owner was an extremely mysterious collector. Legend has it that he hid some very important. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Legend has it that he hid some very important things here. Mullet Stacy. <laughs> Dude, the name. Mm. It must be treasure. I heard the waiter say that there are strange safes in the back cellar that nobody can crack. The treasure may be hidden there. I bet I can crack it. What are we talking? Gold, gems, or valuable antiques? You? Give me a break. Hey, this guy has been listening to everything we said. Better stop talking. Yo, stay away from- oh, you, stay away from us. I mean, it's- Absolutely not noticeable how he's standing right in front of the table. Hmm, treasure. Maybe there will be some interesting discoveries. Let's play this once more. Oh, 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 oh. Oh god, that was close. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. oh, get lost there. Come on. Come on. Let me through. Let me through. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm sure if I was playing this over on Steam, I would probably get an achievement, huh? Oh, for this. Ah, 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 oh, that was so close, so close, so close. Ah, 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 oh, sh fuck. Oh well, 27, that's not that bad, is it now? Uh, how do I leave here again there? Oh, wait, wait, yeah, we had just gone there. Okay, let's go back through the bar once more. Um, this is the staff access, blah, blah. Oh, to the cellar. Okay, okay. All right, so it was worth it going through everything again. Nice and quiet down here. This must be the wine cellar that person mentioned earlier. Why am I talking so low? <laughs> Should I take a look around? Side task. Yes, please. I want to get everything out of this game I can because I'm really, really enjoying it. Ugh, no problems, no, you know. Uh, what a scary place. Hopefully I can find something interesting. Fantasy Jellyfish Bar, the wine cellar, Thursday night. 
The bottles on this wine stand are placed in a particular order, but some of the bottles are missing. I guess... What is... Hmm. I can only move up here. No, I can't move down there. Okay. What's with the numbers? Let's, where's my pen? Let's write them down. They might be of importance. 21, 19, 21, 31. Then the four is empty and the six. And down there we have one, three, five, seven. Okay. What? Oh, no wine bottle. Oh, okay, wait, can we... No, okay. <clears throat> What's with the lights? Do they have... Hmm. The three pointers are the same length. Does this mean they can be set at... Uh, set to a random order? Strange. Well, then we had the Roman numerals, but they were f there were four. That was one, three, five, and seven. Hmm. Maybe, oh crap. Mm, okay, no, wait. Let me, let me, let me, let me just... There, that's what I was looking for. Green. Green, yellow, red, and green, huh? Um, green, yellow, red, and green. So I guess the green one will need to go around twice or move twice. Oh, wait, let me just have another. Oh, wow, this thing is gigantic. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start with this here then. Whoop. So, um, green is... Uh, one, yellow is three, and then red is, nope, nope, five, and then let's, okay, if that's not working, then seven. Okay. What happened? What happened? Uh, now it's. Why is it? Didn't 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 something? No. Nope. Oh crap! There goes my timer again. Oh wait. Bold. Door Garage Wine Company 2122 Boldor area famous for the smooth and sweet taste. Did I just say smooth? <laughs> smooth. 
What an interesting monkey mask. Judging by the design, it must have a secret compartment. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I have no clue. Um, let's check out this place first. What, what, what? This cabinet is locked. I need to find the key. Well, it's probably in the head then, huh? Make a monkey out of you? A bizarre cross stitch from long ago. Coconut made. Okay, well then I guess it's that, 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 that is the uh, code for this thingy then, huh? Um, that, uh, no, that, that. Okay, well then maybe the other way around. That looks better now, doesn't it? Huh? Number, oh, homebrewed white wine. Something ten, something something nine. A bittersweet taste. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, wait, we didn't find the key now, did we? Okay, wait, so this has to be done again then? Um... Why? Um, so wait, yellow was three. I mean, something was going on here, wasn't it? But why did it. Something must have been missing on. Was the red? Was five? Wait, I'm just noticing there's an. What is it, an S? A diamond shape? And what's with the red one? Just nothing. And then this here's seven. No? Why is it not working now? Alright, so there's another code then? Wait, what is this here now? What am I supposed to do here? Okay, oh jeez, now that was... Wait, what is it? 11.04? That was just complete... 11.04.09, wait, what? 11.04.09 A classic style bronze key What's with this here? Um... Uh, I think I should be... Really calling it a night soon. I'm starting to get really tired. <laughs> okay, I mean I'm doing overtime here, and then maybe we finish the night drinking, and then tomorrow, well, in the game tomorrow, we start off the next time. <laughs> Several ripped poker cards. So what? Oh, eleven, four, six. No, I was just thinking eleven, four, nine. But the uh, why the queen is what? What is it? Oh, invested. Uh, Eighteen. The queen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Queen 6-3, well let's write that down. What is a queen 10 usually, isn't it? 6-3, or, or 3. <clears throat> okay, wait, we have this, we don't need this anymore. And there was nothing here. There was just this stupid clock left. Wait a second. <sighs> what are these? Numbers for? <clears throat> Wait, is, is that an 11 or... It reminds me of something else. Oh, it looks like uh, the SS runes. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I still have a bottle there. Is any... 110409? I don't know where to put it. Oh, that's the same one. Nope, that wasn't it, I guess. Now I'm kind of confused here. I mean, <clears throat> why did it just say no wine bottle here? And why can't I? Is this the right place now? No. Uh, okay, I'm starting to get confused again.
Shit, I'm kind of stuck right now. But come on, I want to solve this. Oh wait, this is four, isn't it? It's four, not three, but it's still... Oh man, but hey, I made it this far in the game. Before I became so extremely confused as I am right now. Find more bottles and place them in the correct position. Okay. Um, well, this is the only puzzle I have left. But I have these numbers up here. And the one in the cards. And I, I, I have more numbers than puzzles. I'm confused. Hmm. Let me try. Should I try 11, 4, 9 here? But why? Plus, it's not color coded. 11. Seriously? That actually worked now? Uh, you've been that BSOP made by Elvin? Yes, sh yes, Sha Luke. BSOP four years old. Okay. Oh no. Oh, okay, so another one. So I guess the. Uh, let's try then the other numbers. This would be six then and four. And I'm not quite sure about the queen. Well, we'll try ten first. No. <clears throat> That'll give me three. Nope. Oh, it's three. Oh, it is six. Four. Hmm. Nope. Okay, wait, let's... Is there anything? Nope, that's not... Let me have a look at those cards again. So maybe this is yellow then? But it's white, it's yellow, red, and green. <coughs> oh god, I have to sneeze again. <sighs> or does, is this 3 instead of... Then, then it would be 10, 6, 3. Let me see, 10, 6, 3, 10, 6, 3. 10. Nope. 6. 3. 4. No, oh, come on, I'm so close. Just one last damn puzzle. Queen? It's close. Or am I supposed to figure out what the whole card was? Because that, I think, is a 9 then. 4, 4, and 1 heart. So queen, 9, and that's a 5, I guess. So uh, 10. What did I say? 10, 9, 5. Let's try that. 10, 9, 5, 10, 9, 5. 10. Nine and five. Move the clock now to the correct position. Tin can be found somewhere in this room. Yeah, great. I know the damn playing cards seem to be the last one, eh? I mean, we had to see. Oh, wait, I have two more. How am I supposed to figure out what bottles go where? Oh, wait. Oh, stupid. Wait, um. Huh? Did my game crash? Okay, oh god. Um. Wait, four years old. I was so. That goes there. And this is. Hmm. 2122. Two, two. There is no. Oh. I guess this one is gonna open if we fill them up correctly, huh? Oh crap. I think if I stop now, will I lose progress? The secret of the note, there's no up there. Why can we still look at that? We don't need this anymore. Oh, come on. I really, really, really want to end this here now. <laughs> I'm gonna try those first numbers again. Uh, 
one, yellow is a three, and red is five, and this is seven. No, too bad, it doesn't work anymore. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna try the card numbers now, just with different settings, but I think it's not working. Six and four. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, crap, no. Oh man. <sighs> okay, now I think before I before I make this useless um no before I make it even longer. <sighs> I'm gonna have a peek at a walkthrough on what I'm doing wrong. I I'm stuck. But hey, I got really 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 fucking far in this game before getting stuck now for the first time. So okay, I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I'm back. I wasn't that far off. Except that the stupid queen card is twelve. Plus, it's the other way around. I kept trying 12. Uh, it was the one try where I said 5 and 9. Those were the correct numbers. But it's not 12, uh, 12, 9, 5. It's 12, 9, 5. So, okay. I wasn't a complete idiot on this one. I just got it wrong. Hallelujah! Whew. And this episode has been going for nearly an hour already as well. Prancing Creek Garage Wine Company, 2119 Yao Maxi area. One of the most cozy wines in recent years. What's a cozy wine? Spelled with an S. Hmm. Okay, um, wait, then this one goes there, here we have the four, okay, and then where does this one go here, A Pretty Glass Wine Bottle Memorial Edition by Felrone 2046. Uh, where did it just go? Okay, now what? Where did... So is this it now, please? Why is that still there? Uh, empty brandy bottle? A pretty glass wine bottle? Okay, uh, I thought we just... Oh, we fill it! Homebrewed XO. Amber colored liquor in a memorial edition bottle. Rather classy. Okay, so does... Let me see, do we take it now with us, or do we put it back in here? Wait, what? what? Position of the name tags changed, so the position of the wine bottles has to be adjusted to. Oh, oh, I am. This bottle cannot move. Huh?
Uh. Oh, come on. Everything was going so great. So... Can I do anything? Nameplates on the wine rack have changed. It seemed that the bottle needed to be replaced. Bottle can only move in a fixed direction. Well, okay. I don't get it. So, the oh, reset. Okay, wait. These, let me guess, these can only go left and these can only go right. <sighs> okay. That makes sense now, doesn't it? Oh crap. I fucked up. Oh, did I? Oh, no, wait. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, shit. I fucked up. Oh, God, it's way too late for this. Hello? fucked up again than I oh god I'm so no way I'm so close Come on. Oh, I heard a switch clicking. Did it work? this now oh never mind it's too dark down here what's that flashing thing okay if this is a whole nother dr. wonder tales who dares enter my territory no I'm just if this is a whole nother puzzle area I'm gonna end it here especially as it just saved so let's let's just check this out here and then Rex, uh, okay. wait, since you are here, you must have solved all the puzzles. You aren't as stupid as you look. See, I always say that. I'm not quite as stupid as I look. Or, well, never mind. Who are you? Who am I? Why, I am the famous Dr. Wondertales. Well, or specifically, I'm a copy of his consciousness. But there's no difference. Dr. Wondertales was the greatest adventurer of the new generation, the lord of a thousand riddles. I am also the indefinite visiting professor of the University Union, the blessed taster, a wine collector of the seven continents, lifetime champion winner of PDC 
And also, uh, the puzzles upstairs were designed by you, of course. But more importantly, I'm stuck in this computer that's going to be scrapped. Can you get me out? I can offer you a knight's title. You see, I'm a noble marquis and have the right to appoint knights. There's no way co to connect to this computer and it looks extremely old. How did you get in there in the first place? That's not important. Now, be a good gentleman and push the internet connection button, please. Uploading copies of human consciousness is banned. There are many government AIs on the internet that specialize in hunting for private uploads, not to mention the bounty hunters. Don't worry about me, just press the button. After all, I am a great adventurer. Nobody can catch me. So long, Mr. Knight. Call my name whenever you need help. I will do my best if I hear it. Oof. Okay. Who's going to clear up this ancient computer trash now? Ah, forget it. At least I have a knighthood. Milady, Knight Rex has come upon thee. <laughs> and he's ready for some rumpy pumpy. <laughs> rumpy pumpy, I've never heard that. I like that. Rumpy pumpy. Oh, thank God. Okay, I did it. Oof, so what's the treasure then? <laughs> uh, why did you come from the cellar? Only empl employees are allowed down there. Why did they change places? You're not supposed to be here. Don't even try to steal the alcohol. Oh, sweetie, I'm not even interested in the alcohol. So what was the, the, was the knighthood? Was that the treasure or, uh, wait, what door? Crap, what was the other one? Just one last, one last, hello? Check, oh, I can't. This is the lounge of the bar staff, and I am not interested at all. Okay. Oh, God, so now I guess I can, um... Finish the night drinking, huh? What are you doing over there? Come have another drink. Go back for another drink with Roy. Finish the night drinking. Yes. What took you so long? Oh, sorry, just... <laughs> I was held back. Just had to solve some puzzles there. Hey, it's all on me tonight. Drink as much as you like. Well, cheers then. Some cold coffee. I like the sound of that. Mm. Mm. Ha! Are you sure you've got enough booze in this joint? You know Rex is an alcoholic, right? No one goes home sober tonight. All right. Chapter two, the guide is gone. Oh, please, please, no, please, no, no story, no shit, no nothing. Oh, my head hurts so bad. I shouldn't have drunk so much last night. How did I even get back home? If this goes on much longer, I'm going to have to cut this episode. Hey, BBX, bring me my sobering medicine. Oh, well, he's out of order, don't you remember? Oh, right, that mobile junk heap is out of commission. I guess I'll have to get it myself. There should be some in the cooler nearby. What's the kitty doing there? Miss Detective Agency, Friday noon. Okay, all right, you guys. Oh, that was one hell of a long, very, very, very long episode. Yeah, I wanted to do one more, but I think I should end it now. I'm that those puzzles just really got to me. <laughs> I'm fucking tired now, so uh, yeah. But hey, I am proud of myself. Seven episodes, I think. Was it the seventh episode until I had to use the walkthrough the, the, for the first time? 
Well, the last game, um, never mind. <laughs> I liked that last game, but I was I either uh, I was too stupid or the puzzles were too stupid. I don't know. But this year, so far, I really, really, really like it on all levels. The colors, the art style, the visuals, the characters, the puzzles even, they're easy enough for me to solve. I could play, I, I played as a cat in between. Yeah, I'm really curious where this is going so far. And all in all, I'm very much reminded of the movie Blade Runner with this robot human thingy. Although if I remember correctly, in Blade Runner, robots couldn't be, or well, the, the machines, could, whatever, what were they called? I forgot what they, didn't they have a special name? Well, I think, well, but they, they couldn't be recognized as the robots they were. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Have a great day or a great night and see you on the next episode, alright? Bye!